Hey, what's going on guys? In today's video, I wanna show you three tools that'll help improve content on your website. When you improve the content on your website, you rank for more keywords and you get more leads. Right, Mr. Schwartz? You get more leads. Watch this. All right, what's going on guys? So in today's video, I wanna show you three tools that'll help improve the content on your website. So the first thing that I would do is I would um, go to this website called Animals Revive, and I'll put the, the uh, link in the description below. What this website does is it um, connects to your search console, it pulls all the links off your website, and all, all your rankings, and it lets you know what um, pages are dropping in the rankings because your content hasn't been refreshed in a while. So what you could do is you could add more questions to your, your content, you could do some research and see what's ranking, and have some, uh, have some new content written or some additional content written for that page. So, um, I always try to, when I'm trying to rank a website, I try to go for the lowest fruit, the low hanging fruit, right? So the first thing you could do is, is uh, take a look at some pages that uh, were ranking and now they're dropping in the ranking. And let's add better content, refresh content to that page. The second one is called LSI uh, Graph. And watch this, watch this. So I'll type in local, SEO and what LSI graph will do, man, I always, I never get this right. Schwartz, man, I got a dog that snores. What this um, tool will do was will show me different types of blog posts that I could write. So for example, right, I could write mindsaw.com slash Google my business. It gets 368,000 um, uh, searches a month, right? Search engine optimization, right? What is SEO? These are all great ideas. These are all great ideas. And even if I don't rank for this keyword, if I write a 2,000 word article, I am gonna write I am going to rank for other keywords that are that are in this category, right? So these are all keywords that I would have never thought of off the top of my head. Small business SEO, I may not have thought of that. Uh, local SEO tools, well, that's what we're doing right here, right? Local SEO expert gets a thousand. And what I would do here is check out the cost per click and try to get the highest cost per click. So local SEO agency gets uh, $41 per click, 880. Those people are ready to buy. So if you're an event planner or you're an electrician or you're, uh, once again, a DUI lawyer, or anything like that, definitely use this tool. This is a great tool for blog posts, all right? The next one is called uh, Exploding Topics. And what this one, what this tool does is it lets you know what is trending. So I'll type in the same keyword, local SEO, right? And I could see if that keyword is up or down and it's going to give me a couple of other related topics. See that? See that? So SEO specialist is a key term that's up 81% with uh, almost 2,500 searches per month. Now I'll put it in another tool like uh, Hrefs to see how difficult it is to rank a keyword like SEO specialist. But um, I, I wouldn't have thought of SEO specialist. See that? SEO specialist. Right? So that is a great tool. All right, guys, so I'm going to throw in a bonus, number four, and this probably should be the first site that you look at. It's called SiteLiner, and it's a very important uh, tool because it helps you find duplicate content. It helps you find, see if there's any broken links. So you just put your website in, 
and it summarizes your website, right? And it goes through your entire website and it lets you know uh, how many pages you have on your site, how much duplicate content, if you have any broken links, skipped pages, or just uh, redirect pages that are redirect. That doesn't necessarily mean it's in, in error, right? But you could go through there. So if you had a bunch of broken links, you may have pages on your website that um, you forgot about that are still up on the server and they're hurting, they're hurting your rankings. So this is something that you should use right away. As soon as you watch this video, go to SiteLiner and put your website in and just do a quick scan and it'll let you know about duplicate content and uh, broken links and all that kind of stuff. So guys, I hope, um, I hope this, um, oh yeah, also it lets you know about load time, right? That's real important. Average number of words on, on each page. It's a real, yeah, it's a really good little, uh, little tool. It's free. So I hope these four tools helped you. I said, no, I said three in the, uh, but I always want to try to give a little bit extra. And uh, me and Schwartz here hanging out, Mr. Schwartz. I named my dog, we just got him. He's about, me and my girlfriend, about four, about six months ago, we got him. And he is um, an American bully. And he has a great temperament. Um, you got you gotta wear them out a little bit. Like you gotta walk them a lot during the day or play with a ball or something like that. And then you get them to like this stage where it's just like super chill. Uh, but you do gotta run them around, especially when they're puppies. But they're really good dogs. Uh, they don't shed, they don't bark. They, they train pretty easy. They'll do anything for a little treat, you know? So, so will I. I'll do anything for a treat myself. So. I hope, uh, I hope this lesson helped you. Uh, definitely check out those four tools. I'll put it in the description below. And listen, um, most of the people that watch my videos don't subscribe because I never ask anybody to subscribe. So definitely subscribe and like this video. I have a link below for either the donation if you'd like to donate, but if you, you, know, you don't have it, that's cool. But if you'd like to give me a five-star review, I have the link below. So definitely give me and Mr. Schwartz a five-star review if you, like the, if you like this video. And if you have any questions, put some comments down below so I know what videos to make next, right? That's important. And uh, once again, please make sure you take care of your family and um, you know, make sure everybody in your family is doing good. That's the most important thing is that your family is doing good, right? If your family's doing good, you can sit here and watch these, watch these videos and try to figure out SEO. But that has to be good first. Okay? All right, guys. Until tomorrow, thank you very much for your time, and we'll see you tomorrow.